Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, Senior Editor at the ETC Cooperative. This is the ETC Proof of Work course, Class 3. How does Proof of Work, POW, work? In the previous Class 2, we explained that the brilliant idea of Satoshi Nakamoto when he invented Bitcoin was that the Proof of Work cryptographic stamp not only could be used to create the analogy of gold on the internet, called BitGold, but that the information of the proof of work itself could be a focal point for all the nodes of the network globally to be in the same exact state of the database, all at the same time in their complete isolation without the need to consult with any other source or authority. This was the key to decentralization and the magnitude of proof of work. In this class, we will explain how proof of work actually works in the next sections, where we will show a diagram with the four steps of the proof of work process and explain each one. Above is, a, is the full diagram of the proof of work process. The first step is the data to stamp or hash cryptographically. The second, the hashing in itself. The third is hitting the target established by the protocol. And the fourth is winning the winning of the reward. One, data to stamp. As blockchains are chains of blocks of data, the blocks are related to each other by including the stamp or hash of the previous block in the next. Then the current transactions are added to the data to hash plus a, a timestamp. And finally, a random iterating, a random iterating number, which we will explain in step three. 2. Cryptographic stamping. The second step of the process is to pass the data described in the previous step through a cryptographic hashing algorithm. When this is done, a new stamp or hash is generated for this particular block. These hashes are very large hexadecimal numbers that look like this. 3. Hitting the target. The third step is to check if the hash number hit a target that the network algorithm imposed. If it didn't hit it, then the miners go back to the previous step, change the random iterating number, and then generate, it, generate a new hash and try again. They do this trillions of times per second per round. So the iterating number, the random number, when you have these four pieces of data and you hash it once with, with, with an algorithm, is going to generate a certain number. If you change this number then you, you generate when you hash it a different number and then a different number and then a different number so this repetition is is the idea of of this constant repetition of the of the hashing of the data four winning the reward the fourth step of the proof of work method is hitting the target when any of the miners hit hits the target then they win the reward for that block what is the result of this minor competition? So, in summary, miners group transactions in batches, add them to a timestamp, add to them a timestamp, the previous block cryptographic stamp or hash, and a random iterating number. Once they do this, they create a new cryptographic stamp for this new block specifically, and immediately check if it hit a specific target that the protocol determined. If it didn't hit the target, then the miners go back, change the random iterating number as soon as possible and try again. If they didn't hit the target again, then they try again and again and again until one of the miners hits the target. They may do this trillions of times per second. And this is what uses up so much energy and is referred to as proof of work because only by working in trying so many times using so much computing power and electricity is that statistically one of the miners will hit the target within the range of the standard block time, which is 10 minutes in the case of Bitcoin and 13 seconds for Ethereum Classic. The result is a competition between miners to see who hits the target first. This is what motivates them to constantly increase their computing power. The more and more miners enter to compete, the more aggregate computing power the blockchain will have and the growing hash rate increases the security of the system. Brilliant, isn't it? A cryptographic stamp that is created using a lot of work and electricity is more secure because the focal point 
on which all nodes of the system converge to decide which is the next block becomes extremely difficult to forge by attacks or attackers. Also, the accumulated work of all the blocks in the chain serves as the method of decentralization. We will explain how this security consensus and decentralization is achieved in the next few classes. Proof of work is only a part of Nakamoto consensus. However, proof of work is only one component of the four components of the whole consensus mechanism. In the next class, we will explain the general mechanism of Nakamoto consensus. Thank you for watching this video, ETC proof of work course, class three, how does proof of work POW work? Thank, uh, to learn more about Ethereum Classic, please go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.